This is the daily video update for July 27th, 2020. It's Monday. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I'm here at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm here getting ready uh, to do the memorial service for our longtime member, Amy Berkey. That service will happen on Saturday. Um, we'll be in the sanctuary with 10 people and we'll be broadcasting on Zoom for everybody else. So I'm here making sure that we have the technology ready to do that well. And I'm not gonna lie, it's hard to be back here at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I walked into my office and had a, a pretty immediate sense memory of being back in this place, of, of meeting with all of you here at the church, of being here on a Thursday night and the hustle and bustle that would happen I walked into my office and, and felt the loss that we've had over the last couple months. We have lots of moments like that now. Of unexpected rapid heartbeats of tension. That's an anxiety response, basically. And it's really important that we have ways to work through those moments as people of faith. All this week we'll be talking about spiritual practices. It's a discipline as people of faith to practice our faith even in moments of anxiety and in moments where we've just woken up and everything in between. We started that on Sunday. Aaron Stockwell preached and one of the things that he preached about was Lectio Divina, this practice of divine reading, of integrating the spiritual with the practice of reading something again and again. Spiritual practices are difficult. That's why we call them practices. We have to do them a lot and practice them in order to achieve some level of mastery. But that's why they're really important. Because when we've done them for a long time, when we have moments where our breathing gets shallow and our chest gets tight. We can breathe through them and connect to something greater than ourselves. So we're going to talk more about that this week. We're going to talk about Lectio Divina and about meditation and about prayer and all the different practices that we can have. I hope you'll join us and I hope you get something out of it and leave this week with a couple practices that you want to try and integrate into your life. For now, though, I'll see you tomorrow where I'll be back uh, in my office at home.